Aloha. Today is Friday, January 29th, 2021. And yesterday was the full moon in Leo. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Now, today we're not going to look at any charts. I want to talk about what's what's trending. Now, to me, the full moon is a little bit more about the harvest versus the new moon, which is more about planting seeds. So I've, I've been spending the last day or so since the full moon peaked yesterday at noon, vocally, pretty much at noon, exact. Um, I've been, I've just been really paying attention to what's been coming to light. And there's really two major things. Um, the first has been trending in a very obvious public manner. And that is the GameStop situation. <laughs> now I find that to be really, really hilarious. I worked in, I worked for eight years in the financial industry. I have a degree in economics and I happen to know that Wall Street has used naked short selling to steal trillions of dollars from Main Street. And so for the regular person to get together and put a squeeze when these hedge funds are shorting, that sounds great. Because one of the things that I noted when I was glancing at some of this information, which I didn't allow myself to get rabbit holed into, uh, one of the things that I, I noticed was the flag that caught everyone's attention with, with this was the amount of trading. And so that's what I don't want anybody to miss when we are talking about what's going on is that there were more shares being traded than were issued. So this is what's actually been happening in terms of the theft from Main Street to Wall Street is when a company wants to go big, they need to raise funds. Hence the popularity of crowdfunded, Kickstarter things nowadays. The reason those have become successful is because if you try to take your company and go public, the wirehouses, the companies that are helping you issue the stocks in the first place, they are fraudulently making copies of those stocks and trading them and forcing small businesses to go bankrupt so that once that company goes bankrupt, they don't have to cover the short sale because the company's bankrupt and they walk away with the money. And now, now, the, now it's being revealed what they've been doing. And the censorship that's going on has everything to do with keeping the individuals, us, from talking to each other. If we don't talk to each other, we can't coordinate things like this. And if we can't coordinate things like this, we can't change what's happening. We can't change the narrative. It'll just be the same thing being played over and over and over again. And this is why this is magical because those banks, they're too big to fail. Those hedge funds, they're too big to fail. They're not going anywhere. So are we really paying attention? Are we learning so that we can do something maybe a little different? We are, I think. It's, it's time to be doing something different. That's why things are happening the way that they are, whether it's contrived or whether it's astrological. Maybe it's both. Maybe that's how it works. Ah, the other thing that I think games stop, because there is a game that they are trying to put a stop to those with the most wealth and power in this world. And <clears throat> they just want to replace it with another one keep us distracted. But that's besides the point. What's been happening is food issues. So these food issues are being, are being extremely exacerbated by the executive orders that our recently elected president, uh, inaugurated president of the United States has been 
signing. So this is, this has been mm, coined, I've been informed that this is a staged famine. And uh, regardless of whether or not these things that are going to be implemented by the executive orders, whether or not that it's a staged famine, the truth is famine is on its way. We've been spraying things in the air. We've been dumping things in the water for decades and we're not doing shit about it. We have a few loan nonprofits out there that are trying to clean up the oceans. But here I am being blatantly naked and honest about the fact that I'm using this laptop made with materials from slave labor all over the country. I know, I know I need to cut back. I know I need to reduce. I'm working on it. Are you? Are you even aware that the draining of the resources of the planet is occurring right now? That's where this, that's why we're in such a big battle. We're in such a big battle. That's why Elon Musk wants to go to Mars because it's happening. There is a drain on this planet and she's more than happy to devour us as she did Atlantis. So with this full moon in Leo with a good square over there to Mars and Uranus in Taurus, what are you gonna revolutionize? Here we are with our light of awareness being in Aquarius, that's the sun, shining down upon the moon in Mars or in Leo. One way that it's been described is the moon is who you are, the sun is the car you're in, and the ascendant is the road you're on. Okay? You work on your ascendant. That's your job. You book a session with me if you want my, want my help. However, what we're all being transmitted is this light coming from group needs, Aquarius, being shined upon individual needs, Leo, making this tension a call to action square to Mars. Oh boy, we, we need to really like, it's like double action. We have a square with Mars, it's like double action double get moving. And now we have Uranus in the mix. So we need to revolutionize. And I love that it's, it's expressing itself in two ways. One way sounds to me to be like, you know, there's the universe always gives us the truth and a delightful distraction. And the truth is the revolution is in Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus. Taurus is about our relationship with the earth. Taurus is about Venus, physical, plants, the flowers. If it wasn't for Venus, the flowers wouldn't bloom. Venus is about the dirt, the soil. Or Venus in Taurus specifically is about the dirt, the soil, you think about a bull, they stand in the shit. That's the way it is. There's, there's the bull just prances around his meadow, sniffing the flowers. I mean, if you could call a bull prancing. <laughs> but anyway, young, oh, mud, letting it all hang out. There's a relationship with the earth that Taurus has. And we can either be, we can either restore our relationship with the earth, which is what this whole thing with the farmers is indicating. And by the way, due to changing, attempted changing laws in India, they've had, they've had protests for over nine months. So, where, what are you going to eat? Are you going to eat your cell phone? What do you buy every day? Do you, have you noticed the price of donuts has increased? What's important for you to eat on a daily basis to keep your 
mind, body, and soul going. And where does it come from? And if suddenly the price tripled or half the shelves were empty, what would you do? And what would you do if a food banks were empty too? What's your plan B for real? So the GameStop uh, seems like a bit of a distraction to me because it's this temptation that we can have the resources that we need to live in the physical world without doing anything. Because that's what's happening. People are just going on their computer and typing away, clicking away, and they're doing these things so that because of movements in the stock market, now all of a sudden they have all this money and they can survive. But what, and this is Taurus, what real tangible physical value have they contributed to society? Society is the 11th house. That's Taurus's original home. And it, it's in, it, it creates a tension with the second house of resources, which is where most people associate Taurus, which is fine. You wanna get into that with me? Book a session. But my point is, we have this hard square with this full moon. And we can really see our individual roles in the group. And we're really asking ourselves, what are we gonna do about dwindling resources? And when I say, what are we gonna do? I really mean we. We as in acknowledgement of the Leo, I, and the Aquarius, us. What are we gonna do here on earth, Taurus? What are we gonna do, Mars? We need to do something new, Uranus. Are we gonna hang out at home and sit on our computer and push buttons and magic numbers will go up and that will give us credit. So when we go to these food banks, somebody else is taking care of us. We're not taking care of ourselves. Someone else is taking care of us. We're just pushing buttons on a computer. That sounds very Neptune and Pisces. That's a, that's a, that's a pipe dream in my world. I'm not, I'm not going down that pipe. And then the other side, like I said, is the real cry for help. The earth is saying, please help me restore my soil. Otherwise I will eat you and your blood will. Thank you.